All right, I just wanted to showcase a small modification to a coolant, a vacuum coolant uh, bleeder or filler, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is just a generic tool on Amazon. Um, comes with a bunch of different fittings for different uh, coolant bottles and radiators and stuff like that. It does come with an air-powered vacuum device. That device sucks. It's, it's horrible. Um, all of them suck. Um, so what I did was I got rid of that and then I just made an adapter uh, to refrigerant line. You don't have to do refrigerant hose. It's kind of actually a dumb way to do it. Um, you could just do silicone or vacuum line or whatever. Um, but to move you back here, um, this is the This is a basically just a, a water separation chamber. And that's so I don't suck water into my vacuum pump because it'll break it. And then you have the, uh, the, the fill line down to your coolant bucket, whatever, whatever you got. Um, and then over here, this is kind of the heart of it all. This is a retired vacuum pump. And uh, it's got quarter inch uh, flare and three eighths flare fitting. That's why I went with the, the refrigerant line, but I, I shouldn't have done that. Should have just did a barb switch uh, reducer to a barb and then did uh, clear uh, vacuum silicone line to the actual device. Um, and what that does is it allows you to have direct vacuum with no air uh, and then that air device would get stuck sometimes and it wouldn't pull a vacuum from the um, it wouldn't pull a vacuum from the um, coolant reservoir especially if you were uh, doing an, a secondary vacuum it would that device would get stuck so this way I can pull direct vacuum on the coolant chamber uh, in as much as I want um, and th like I said that's a retired vacuum pump vacuum pumps are super cheap on Viver or Amazon just get a cheapy $80 whatever uh, tool, especially if you're doing this more than once. The other thing that I see a lot of people doing is they'll pull a vacuum with this device and this, this hose will be full of air. And, uh, and then they close off the vacuum and then they send the coolant in. Well, you're sending this big slug of air in. So what I do is while this, this valve is open and I have the vacuum pump running, I'll open this to just draw up the coolant to here and then as soon as it's here I'll shut it off and then I'll do my final vacuum uh, down to whatever number I'm looking for on the gauge and then that way I'm not s sending a big slug of air into the, the coolant system ahead of the coolant so um, just a quick tip and this is just like I said it's just a, a separation chamber so basically um, this is the suction side. There's a hose in here that goes all the way to the bottom of this uh, PVC pipe. And then this is a, uh, the suction side from the vacuum pump. And uh, that's just the fitting right up here. So essentially the whole volume of this tube would have to fill up with water before water would actually get into this line and send it to the vacuum pump. And it'll break it, like I said. So that's why I put this in here. It's just a safety device. Um, and you can make it however you want. Um, but other than that, I hope this helps you guys. It, this is a really efficient way to bleed coolant systems and not have to babysit them and run them a bunch of different times. So I definitely like this. And with this modification to the tool, it works a thousand times better. So I hope that helps.